Me and my brother Shay have come out fossil hunting today. We've just had a little look around and are going to continue looking now to see what else we can find. He's just gone further over to a different part of the beach, so we'll catch up with him soon. We found a few ammonites, which I'll show you in just a moment. And at the end of the video, we'll do what I usually do and show one of my favorite fossils. And today we're going to show some plesiosaur vertebrae. Vertebrae from a creature known as the Loch Ness Monster. So we'll show these bones at the end of the video. So definitely stick around till the end if you want to see that. going to start by having a little look along here amongst the pebbles oh wow From a glance, I thought that was just going to be really worn and no good. But actually, a few nice little specimens on there. Nice little fossilised ammonites. Oh cool, I'll keep holding that. There's the edge of a fossil inside there. I don't think it's going to be fully preserved on the inside though, just from experience with these types of rocks. So I'll leave that there for now. Hmm. Hopefully this golden rock will have something on the underside. It's very round, it might be sitting in the middle of it. Oh! Oh, brilliant! Those are beautiful, pirateized fossils on the bottom of the rock. They're not 3D, they're all pretty crushed, and these are just imprints. But I really like that actually. Lovely. Just before I started filming, we've managed to find a couple of lovely ammonites within these rocks. There's a little edge of one showing just there. I'll wash that off. can see it showing an absolutely perfect fossil inside. And also, we broke this one open already, just to see what the quality was like. Absolutely perfect. We think it's a type of ammonite called the Dactyliosaurus semisalatum. Just in the middle of the fossil, you can see the outer walls are pretty much perfectly exposed. Then in the centre, there's still little bits of stone, and these can very easily be removed at home. I'll make a video at some point of preparing one of these little ammonite fossils. Just keep an eye out if you want to watch that video when it's up. Oh, we've already broken this one open as well. Let's have a look inside. If it will open up, there we go. Brilliant. Again, very similar to the previous ammonite. Still got some rock in the centre. That can easily be removed. It's got a big fracture going down the middle of the fossil as well. But luckily it stayed together perfectly. 
Just going to break open now another one of the rocks that we found just a few moments ago. So one of them is down here. There it is. There's a little piece of a fossilized squid on the outside of the rock, so there might be nothing else inside. But it's a nice big stone, pretty chunky. There could well be a lovely fossil inside this. Let's open it up. Forgot to mention as well, I've just put my safety glasses on just to make sure no rock can fly up and hit me in the eye. It's very important that you wear safety glasses if you're doing anything like this. These rocks are pretty difficult to open up as you can tell. There we go, nice big crack around it. Let's hope that all the hammering was worth it. See the nice big crack. Oh, there's absolutely nothing inside, apart from a tiny little edge of that fossil squid. Other than that, absolutely nothing. Oh well, I mean that is often the case though, there is nothing inside, but I was just hoping that because the others contain something, that this would as well. Nope, nothing at all. Let's try one more of the rocks just in case the other one contains something. Here we go with the next stone. Hopefully it's easier to break and hopefully it contains something nice inside. I think this is the last one I'll attempt and then, well it's the last one we've got as well, and then I'll go catch up with my brother. Anything inside? Absolutely not. Oh well, let's move on. Just got something really rather unusual here. Hit this little stone open. Didn't look like there'd be anything inside. And lo and behold, there is some little lobster legs. Pretty strange. Almost certain the lobster legs. Pieces of lobster for sure. Interesting. Going to carry on up here now, see if my brother has found anything else, and I'll have a little look on the way. Fossils down here. Oh, wow. How oh, nice is that? A fossil squid covered in fossilized ammonites. Makes you wonder just what else is under all of this shingle. Oh, very cool indeed. Just picked up this little piece of fossilised wood. Little part of a branch. There's also a bit of an ammonite fossilised next to it. Some more little pieces over there as well.
Have you managed to find anything? Oh, you got, you got quite dominate. Just found one there, actually. Quite a few in there. Oh, yeah? Plenty. I'll just split this one. Oh, wow. Oh, I've been so lucky with Dramonites today. Don't usually get anywhere near this many. We're going to head back now and then get out the plesiosaur bones and have a look at those when we get home. We're back home now, so let's have a look at the plesiosaur vertebrae that I mentioned when we were down on the beach. I've got them just sat over here on the hedge. For us to have a look at. We're just gonna pan across it now to have a little look. Here we have the vertebral bodies themselves and above we have the neural spines. When we first found these we thought they were ichthyosaur vertebrae but after preparing them we realised that they were much much rarer. They're actually from a plesiosaur. Like I said earlier this is the same creature essentially that the Loch Ness Monster is. So the creature with the big paddles uh, four big paddles and a really long neck and a tiny head. That's what creature these bones would have come from. It's very heavy. Well, imagine carrying this off the beach when it was about twice as thick. Because of course, when you find it, it's not perfect. It you know, had loads of rock all over it and things. It was very hard to tell what it was. Um, I'm very glad we did carry it off because this is one of my favorite finds. Pretty similar to the ichthyosaur vertebrae we showed in one of my recent videos. This is my equivalent of my favorite plesiosaur finds so far. For this video, we were lucky enough to have Extra send us a couple of their products just to help sponsor the video. It is a GPS tracked wallet. For carrying your cards, you use this button to launch the cards out. Looks like you're in a secret mission or something with this. Tracker just goes inside the wallet. If you ever lose your wallet, go onto the app on your phone. This makes a noise and you find your wallet. Equally, if you lose your phone, just press this a couple of times and it will tell you where your phone is. A very useful product if you want 30% off for Christmas and if you want 15% off permanently, be a link in the bottom of this description for the video. Anyway, thank you very much and we'll see you in the next one. Here's an ammonite we've just found. Well, we think it's going to be an ammonite. It's a nice looking stone. Could well have something inside, but we'll have to see. Nothing at all showing, so we'll just hit it with a hammer and pop some things in. Oh, there we go. Let's hope. Oh, perfect! Wow. I wasn't expecting it to be that nice. Ah, very nice.